One of the worst years for cotton. That's what farmers are saying after first enduring a drought and then getting heavy rain just as we enter harvesting season. Yeah, our Emily Harrison met up with one of these farmers today. Any idea on how much this is going to cost them? They're not sure yet as this harvest is just getting started, but between the drought all the summer and now heavy rains, it's not looking good. And one farmer tells me it could cost him a considerable amount of money in the long run. This year is just the absolute opposite of what we've what we really needed. Dry hot weather all summer long and then heavy rains right when harvesting starts. The cotton season hasn't been kind this year. It just it never started off good and it really didn't get any better. We probably 60% of our dry land is we won't harvest. About half of that, we never even got it up. Stephen Brosh is just one in a long line of farmers who has raised cotton on the same land for generations and says the drought earlier this summer has set the tone for the rest of the year. Half of our dry land is gone and the problem with it this year was any rains that did come were very streaky. So you might have a mile or two stretch that seemed to get a rain every once in a while, but you go outside of that and it Nothing. And then right when they don't need the rain, that's when the sky opens up and floods all over the crops, turning fluffy bits of white cotton into clumped up balls that are useless to sell. Anytime those are open and start getting this rain on it, the quality starts going down. How fast, um, you know, it depends. The sunshine now dried out helps, but anytime you've got open cotton and get rain on it, it you're losing money right off the bat and that he's just excited to get the year over with and hope for better next season. I'm excited to wrap up this year just to get it behind us and be done with it. If we would have had all this rain earlier in the year and then kind of dried out, that's it's perfect. Now, Stephen actually took me around the farm just to show me the devastation that right. was caused and my boot came off <laughs> in the mud that I mean, just showing the dangerousness of this and I mean just the devastation. Yeah, I know a lot of my cotton friends, they say the big issue too is they can't even spray the, f the right. fields to have the bulbs open up just because of all this water. So Truly hopefully they'll get some relief. So. Exactly, Thanks. exactly. Thanks, Emily. Thanks, Emily.